here. So I found I've been watching actually I've been watching GameStop for quite some time. I'd say about like the last six to eight months or so. I've gotten in some cells here and there, but I'm looking to go ahead and get into another one. As you guys know, GameStop is doomed. GameStop is a fucking terrible company. Uh, recently, GameStop dropped due to... Let's go ahead and find this, actually. <clears throat> recently, Game, GameStop dropped, if you guys see right here, the reason why GameStop dropped was because of their holiday sales. Now, I remember you guys talk... If you guys have seen my most recent video of talking about Five Below, same thing happened to Five Below. Other than this, I'm not looking for a buy in GameStop due to the longevity of this stock. So... What we're going to go ahead and look at first and we're going to break down is let's go ahead and talk about GameStop's drop ever since 2015. Ever since about 2015 or so, GameStop has been declining all the way from about, let's say, $48 per share down to $4 per share. So this stock has lost almost like $40 per share in the last five years or so. So now what we're looking at is we're coming back up on another trade on GameStop. And one thing I want to show you guys is this. What we're currently looking at right now with GameStop is it's currently in a sideways correction. So a couple things that could happen is price could reject off of here, then move lower. Or, like I was showing on my Instagram, when price breaks and if price breaks out of this correction and breaks beneath, we will go ahead and look for a sell. So this is going to be basically a free trade idea for you guys to go ahead and watch and where am I going to look to take this down to? I'm looking to take this down to $3 per share. So if if GameStop drops beneath $4.50 and closes beneath $4.50, I'm going to be watching this on the 30-minute or 15-minute chart once it gets closer to there. It is in a lot of disequilibrium, so it could come back up. But what I do know is... GameStop is going to go down. So when and if GameStop breaks beneath this red line, we will go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and buy some puts. Actually, I'm going to buy a lot of puts and take it all the way back down to about $3 per share or so. So keep your guys' eyes on GameStop stock.